I'm using headphones, so I don't know how much of the audio is being picked up well. Um, plus my fan is on because it's hot and I was going to turn it off, but I was like, I don't think that I should because then I'll get hot. So hopefully it's not that bad. But I've been up for a while. It's, what time is it? 1024. It's 1024 right now. And I've been up since 7 a.m., probably before. And I'm just now eating. I'm not even all that hungry, but I guess we're gonna run as well. I haven't even done anything productive. So that includes like washing my face and all that. So I look really crusty right now. Sorry, guys. But um, this is my breakfast. Um, I have mini croissants from Walmart, and I just put them in half in the air fryer, and Walmart, mm. Walmart has this, mm. it's been up, so I'm eating some more, Walmart has this, like, cinnamon honey butter, and I'm pretty sure it's intended, at least in my eyes, to imitate the Texas Roadhouse butter. I don't know how national or international Texas Roadhouse is. It's probably just a southern thing. I don't know. But this is what the butter looks like. No, I don't want it to fall on my laptop. Yeah. It's really good. I also have um, strawberry whipped cream cheese, but I'm not eating that this morning. But it tastes good with the croissants as well. Because there's a lot of bread and sugar going on, I also have some grapes. I bought not a lot of fruit, but I bought strawberries and grapes recently. And I washed them all at once so that I could just package and eat them as I please. I usually don't make this type of video usually it's just like a montage of me doing whatever it is that I'm doing at home mostly cleaning and I'll like do a voiceover Rec recently I've been doing voiceovers but I'll just like write down what I need to say but I don't know I just felt like kind of talking I was gonna go outside but it's already like 80 something degrees outside so then I'll just have to wait for the fall months but lately I've been feeling like I'm falling into a deep depression and even saying that makes me feel really bad because it's like I feel too self-aware I feel like that's a lot of the problem that I have I feel too self-aware therefore it makes me feel like I'm just letting bad feelings happen which I kind of am but it's like if you know that you're falling into a deep depression you can feel it happening why are you letting it happen just don't even though that's not really how that stuff works because I would stop it if I could I don't know it's weird being self-aware because obviously when I was younger I didn't know any of the words to describe any of the ways that I feel so it's like it felt worse in a sense but I'm not sure which one actually feels worse knowing what you're feeling but still not being able to really stop it or not knowing what you're feeling so you feel like maybe this is normal, therefore you can't complain about it. I don't know. What was I talking about? <laughs> this is why, oh my god, what am I talking about? I hate when this happens. This happens all the time. I'm so far off topic. I was talking about me falling into a depression and why I called off work and why I 
think I'm falling into a deep depression, but I don't like saying it because it doesn't feel right. I don't know how I got here. But anyway, back to the topic of hand. Topic on hand. The topic at hand. I feel like I'm falling into a deep depression. I don't I don't know if I still feel it anymore. When I feel this way, it's kind of weird, obviously, but it one of the main re- ways I can kind of tell how bad it is kind of is if I spend money because when I get like really sad and like I want to like myself I start being like well nothing matters like I'm gonna die anyway like it doesn't matter if I have money or don't it doesn't matter what I do because I'm not gonna be here too much longer so it doesn't even matter so I'll start buying things I want I'll like order food order things online and it's like you're not going like when you feel a little bit better in like the next couple of days you're going to regret that and I always do this time around I ordered like I tipped the person like ten dollars so it ended up being like around forty seven dollars worth of food from DoorDash and it was just Wendy's it was literally just Wendy's and the thing is as soon as I ate it I hated the fact that I ate it and I tried to throw it up but I couldn't because I let it sit for too long so it, I just ended up feeling worse about myself. I ordered two books from Books A Million I have a Books A Million membership and then I ordered a BTS Black Swan themed bonnet off of this TikTok creator's website like her shop and it looks really cute so i'm excited for it but it's like i hate that i did that because it's literally a waste of money well not a waste like i'm they're not things that i didn't want like at the moment when i ordered the food i didn't not want it i do want the books i do want the bonnet but it's just like i feel so weak because it's just like I feel weak and I also feel like it's not something that I'm actually doing because I'm sad it's like you're using your sadness as an excuse to spend money and be like I bought this because I was sad but it's like that's that is what happened but I don't know just like it's just being too self aware makes me feel like a fraud it's like you can't actually feel like it's like mental health issues mental illnesses mental disorders things like that those are things that don't happen on purpose like not saying i do like it's weird it's like if you are so anxious so depressed so whatever you think is going on why do you feel so aware about it yet you're not doing anything it's like yes I could be doing more but it's like I don't know really what to do with it so when I do think like yeah I, I'm gonna call out from work like I just can't do it anymore like I literally feel myself falling into a really bad depressive episode it's like okay it's like so what <laughs> It's like, if you feel aware enough that you know it's happening, you should be able to feel aware enough to stop it from happening. And that's kind of been the pitfall the past couple of years. And it also, it's like another way that I invalidate myself. Because it's like, you are not, it's kind of like, I don't know if anyone else feels this way, but in my mind, and I know this is bad, but it's like, if it's not the worst of the worst, it doesn't count. Like, I have things that happened in my childhood that are bad, that shape the way I think and feel things for the worse, and it's still impacting to this day, but because I was never burned with cigarettes, I don't know, burned with cigarettes, starved for days, because I had some place to stay for the most part I had clothes and food even if it wasn't what I wanted it's like I didn't get the worst of the worst treatment 
therefore it's not actual trauma because I wasn't being like beat by family members it's like it shouldn't that's not <laughs> like it's a spectrum that's not enti- that's not what that means like yes that's trauma obviously but just because that's not what happened doesn't mean it's trauma but that also doesn't mean that my mom saying like oh you didn't do xyz or oh you did xyz so you're not going to eat cinnamon toast crunch you can have a sandwich or something like that i don't fucking know that doesn't mean that's trauma but that doesn't mean this thing that was pretty bad but wasn't the absolute worst is like does that make sense i don't know that's kind of how my brain processes it and it's just i don't know why i think so much like my head hurts so much nothing makes sense first and foremost nothing makes sense and i'm also not looking at the camera sorry looking at me but it's like nothing like just nothing feels how i think it's supposed to feel it's just like if you know that this is happening it's like i feel like i'm doing it for attention that's what it feels like it feels like i'm one of those people on tiktok that see those things like people things that people with adhd do people things that people with depression do and it's like you have to think about it in moderation like yes everyone has moments where they're like did i turn off the stove i just spit a lot so sorry everyone has those moments where it's like huh did i turn off the stove i don't remember i don't want to take a chance so let me just go back everyone has moments of that but when it gets so bad and irrational even to where it's impacting you in a a debilitating way and it's not just i use my flat iron every day and every day unplug it but today i was a little bit absent-minded so i don't know if i did let me go back and check it's not just that it's like i didn't use it today but i'm like what if it's like that if it gets so bad it's like then maybe it's something more like it's like everyone pees that's normal but if you're peeing like every minute then something's wrong it's like that type of vibe I don't know if any of that was audible. Yeah, it's like that type of vibe where I feel like I'm one of those people who just want to have a disorder because they think it makes them quirky or cute. Even though that's not how I feel. Because I've I've never been to therapy. I'm not not diagnosed with anything. Even, like, medically, not dealing with, like, my mental. I'm not diagnosed with anything. But I just feel like the way that I feel is not the way that anyone's supposed to feel. Like, I've been researching it for, like, two years now. And, unfortunately, not unfortunately as in I think this disorder is, like, a bad thing or people who have it are bad people. It's just, like, unfortunately as in nobody should have to live with that and feel that way. But a lot of the symptoms... The things that I feel, especially in the last two years, so even more than that, but especially in the last two years, those like behaviors and symptoms and feelings have been pointing to borderline personality disorder. It even makes me feel more so like a phony and a poser, because it's like, what do you mean? It makes no sense. Like, what do you mean? Yeah, I've been researching it. I think I have BPD. Like. That just does not mean the amount of sense. Mean the amount of sense? It doesn't make the amount of sense that I feel like it should to me. It just feels like I'm just saying things to try to sound like tortured and edgy, even though I'm not. I hate the way it feels when I'm going to use bpd terms because ever since i have been learning more about it and feel like i feel like this applies to me even though i'm not diagnosed but i feel like it does 
I've been using certain terms and things to like identify feelings or behavior so I'm gonna use those terms but I'm not I'm not self-diagnosing but I'm not just claiming it for fun if that makes sense I'm like making a semi <laughs> semi-educated guess I guess anyway but like when I split that feels the absolute worst I, I don't even know if this is only splitting or something else but I'm going to it happens when I split sometimes so I guess it can fall under that umbrella of things that happens in ways that it feels when you split but it feels like I'm both in my mind and not like it feels like I'm losing my mind and not in the way of like my dog I'm going crazy I'm losing my mind like no it feels like I'm going like in and out of my mind. I don't know how to describe it, but it feels like I can't even see. It's like, what's going on? In the case that I am right for some reason, and I do have PTSD, I, I did have an FP, favorite person. It was not great. It was tricky because the way that I acted and the way that I would feel I was feeling that way before I started researching so before I could say like this is what I'm doing this is what this feels like or this is what this action or pattern of thinking is because I felt like this about them a year prior like six months to a year prior of me even discovering any of this I was like Am I acting like this towards this person because they're my FP or because I genuinely love them? Or is it both? Or am I confusing love for infatuation? Like it was, it was so much. And I just, I genuinely felt like when I would split on them, it was so painful, both physically and mentally exhausting. I wouldn't even cry at often. It would just be like, a, just pure exhaustion. Like, why aren't you listening? Like, why can't you just understand what I'm saying? Like, why does this not make sense? Why do I feel so much? Like, why is this one difference in text slash tone making me feel like my world is crumbling down? Why does it feel like I'm dying <laughs> that's what it felt like unfortunately and so why does it feel like that just because they said that they met a co-worker and it was somebody that they would have been friends with when they were in high school and they're hanging out why do I feel so bad when you say oh god I'm gonna stop there because I'm definitely going off the rails like if you have diagnosed BPD or your, I don't know if a ther why would a therapist be watching me, but if you're here, help, <laughs> no, but it's like, is, I, I assume, I guess, that would be a part of an FP relationship, so maybe, but the obsessiveness and possessiveness, it's deadly, and the thing is, I've seen so many people online being like, I wish I was someone's FP, like, I wish somebody could be obsessed with and love me like that like it's not fun it literally not only is it not fun for me to feel that way about somebody and know that I'm being delusional and insufferable and making their life a living hell but I can't help it it's exhausting for that person it felt so bad but it's like I couldn't fully control it and the times where I was like like damn it let go like let go like you do not own this person they do not owe you anything you're not dating them you they leave them alone just let it go because i could tell like it was exhausting them like they didn't want to talk to me anymore like they literally said like i don't like talking to you and it was because of that and without bpd or fp relationships or anything like that just being free of mental disorders like being completely and totally 
fine and hearing somebody say I don't like talking to you like I don't like the way like talking to you it feels exhausting that would crush anyone but imagine someone with like an FP relationship that's a world worse and if you think that'll crush your soul it like broke me to my core and it's just I mean I see why I hate that it makes you feel that way but it's just like I'm breaking at the seams because you're gone and breaking even more because you willingly left and you don't want to come back and you don't like me because I made you feel that way so yeah don't say that you want to be someone's FP because you don't it's very not fun and even then like I'm talking as if I've been to a psychiatrist or I've been to a therapist and they were like yeah this is what's going on this is diagnosed this is you I feel like I'm not part of that community where it's like you shouldn't go on google and google your symptoms and what if I have this or what if I do that um, I feel like it's helpful but I feel like maybe am I going too far that's my concern I think I'm going too far I really just can't, yeah, I can't tell if I'm going too far. I don't have an FP now. And that feels even worse in a way than having one. Because having an FP feels like you have somebody to live for. It's like, I wake up so I can talk to them. Like, I do things so that they can tell me that I did well or that they're proud of me. And without that, it's like, well, what's the point? There's nobody rooting for me to do things, so it's like, it doesn't even matter if I do it. It's like, yes, it still matters. You should still wake up and brush your teeth and go to school and go to work and continue on with your daily functions with or without someone's, like, praise and approval. But that just, it just makes it so much harder because it's like, there's no one that cares if I do this or not. Honestly... I went eating for so long, not even, like the past three minutes maybe, but I don't know what I was talking about, but I'm pretty sure I was about to just repeat the same points anyway, so yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. You're propped up on my laptop, so I'm going to just Google what time is it because the where my camera is is blocking time. It's 11.13. Let's finish my croissants. I'm gonna eat some more grapes. There's crumbs in my bed. God oh, damn it. But I'm done with the majority of my breakfast. It's really good. Um, I like talking about things like that, but it's also nerve wracking because I just don't want to offend anybody. I don't want anyone to think that I'm masquerading around in something that they actually have to deal with and live with. I just don't want it to come off as like you're doing it for attention because I just feel so self-aware that it's not even like guys like what are, what is this like I feel this way and I do these things and I just don't know what it means and help me help me help me like I feel like I know exactly what the, like I'm literally naming terms that are specific to BPD and it's like I just feel like I feel like I might be coming off a little bit ingenuine. I really, really, really want anyone that watches this, especially this far, to know that I'm not being ingenuine. And I really hope to God that I do not come off that way. If it seems like people like this, I might do more videos like this. Not necessarily eating. I have realized that it is rather hard to eat while talking. I don't know. Maybe I'll do something else. That was a sour one. Maybe I do nothing at all and just stare out my window. How about that? But, um, yeah. I hope that more than likes or views or anything, comments, I love that. And it's like talking to people that have opinions on what I say and I have opinions on what they think and what they say which is why I like 
like as I've gotten on Goodreads I like Goodreads so much like when I follow creators that I like and I see them read books and I can see like what they liked about the book what they thought about the book and it's like seeing people's thoughts well you know more so when it's on things that I do like things that I say Mm, with hiccups now damn it thank you thank you for watching um and have a good day or night or morning or evening or afternoon just have a good just have a good time you know and thank you thanks for watching bye